Hello, I'm Andrea and welcome to Productive C Sharp. In this video, I want to tell you how you can use the Microsoft Quality Services uh, Translator Text API in order to translate a text from a language to another language using the power of Microsoft Azure. Uh, as you can see here, I have uh, uh, the portal, the Azure portal opened, and I have already created a, a Translator Text API in the community services. If you want to do it yourself, you can just go to create a resource, search for the AI cognitive services, and you see all, and you should be able to find translator text API here, and then you actually can click and then create it. Okay, so I go back to the cognitive services that I already created. You can see that I have a translator service, and uh, and now let's see how we can actually use C Sharp to access it. Unfortunately, there is no SDK available, so you need to do a raw HTTP request in order to use the service. But as you can see, it's fairly easy to do. I have a console application. Uh, and let's have a look at the main first. What I want to do is a simple application that gives me some, um, asks me to, to input some text in a particular language, the language I want, and then it translates the language, the, the text, into English, and then print it to the console. And this is basically what these three lines of code do. do. And there's a translate method that takes a text and a language, and we'll actually do the translation. Okay, we, we'll see how this is implemented. Um, in order to do this, first of all, we need to create an instance of an HTTP client, and we need to set a, a security key. And as you can see here, I put in my security key in a constant, and I've got this security key from the keys section of the Cognitive Services Translator Text API. And you can here, you can select the key you want and then click copy. Okay. Now, how I implemented the translate method? Let's have a look. As you can see, it's four lines of code. The first things you need to do is to encode the text string that you provided, because these need to be added in a URL. Then I create the URI that you need to be you need to call in order to actually get the translation. And this is actually using the api.microsofttranslator.com and takes two parameters, two language and the encoded text, as you can see. Then we call the get string async method that will return, will actually do an HTTP request, a get request in this case, passing the test we want to translate, and we return back an XML string uh, that we can easily parse here with the X element of parse, and we can get the actual translated text back. And that's it. Let me run the program. Okay, awesome. Now, the console is, is actually waiting for me to type something. I'm gonna type Italian, and then let's see what Azure returns. Uh, ciao a tutti, uh, io sono Andrea. Press enter. There we go. Hi, I'm Andrea. Fantastic. Let's try again uh, something else. Uh, your things okay. sharp. Sia un fantastico linguaggio di programmazione. There we go. I think C sharp is a great is a great programming language. Yeah, it doesn't really get C sharp. You need to have space in it. Possibly it's not perfect, but it's an amazing tool. And uh, let's try to close this and just change the um, language to Italian. So now I should be able to do the reverse. So I'm going to type English and I should get back Italian. Okay, this is also. Um, um, there we go. Questo è impressionante. That's Italian, so you should trust uh, my Italian. Uh, let's try something else. I love pizza. I am Italian after all, you know? Amo la pizza, io sono italiano per tutto. And fantastic. So, using the um, Microsoft Cognitive Services, you can extremely, uh, in, a, in a very in a extremely simple way, you can actually call an Azure endpoint, pass a text, and return the translation back. So, pretty powerful. Uh, please consider to use it in your applications. And... Uh, and this is actually the reference code you can use in Azure, in Azure to leverage this service. Thank you very much for watching.